Hey collectors, Anthony from HashersNet here, and today we're taking a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic Rat King just in time for the 40th anniversary. And as you see, here he is in front here. But before we take a look at him, let's take a look at the blister. And uh, it's a standard classic blister. And it shows you everything that's available in the range here. I officially now have all of them. Yay! Uh, so here's what the front looked like after I took the blister off. So it's, it's again, the same as before. Uh, here is a little bit of information about him. A maniac leader of, of the Rat Pack. And, of course, accessories, rainbow, bow, and snake belt. Uh, his height is tall enough. His weight is one heavy dude. His favorite food is Ratatouille. And his favorite film is Willard. I guess Ratatouille is not his favorite film. Although this, this is from 1988. This is more or less the same thing, uh, obviously. They're not going to put a modern movie in there to change it. Looking at his belt, it basically has a roadkill cat on it. And you just see he has a mouse on his leg, on his shoulder, on... Well, there's an unpainted one back here. Must be a brown mouse. Uh, one on his arm. And uh, because this is an 88-based figure, it has the standard articulation. Uh, just, uh, you know, the one-directional um, arm here. The same of both, uh, except, you know, they're posed a little bit differently. Uh, he doesn't have a wrist swivel at all. Uh, his leg is on a, just a universal ball joint, so he can do this in both of them. My problem with these uh, older figures, and I think I've said this in, like specifically with Shredder, is that the feet are kind I mean, flat, but the legs are positioned in such a way you can't really stand up straight. But we look at all the stuff he has on his belt. Of course, he got cheese, he got a knife, he got more cheese, he got more cheese, he got a... Gr it looks like a grater, a cheese grater. Uh, the belt can come off, but I'm not going to pull it off. Uh, and I'm, I feel bad for the cat. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for him. And then, of course, he came with this rat crossbow thing, which asks the question, is he shooting rats? Because that is clearly what this one is. And also, he, I don't know if you noticed this, as I'm trying to get him to stand up here. Uh, this rat has a mohawk. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, it's... Straight up plastic, something fancy, and there's no real string or anything. As a basic weapon, and um, it just fits into his hand like this. And I'm I'm sure it goes into either hand. Matter of fact, uh, yeah, go into either hand. And uh, here's what it looks like when he holds it. And I'm officially caught up on this collection, so he's looking forward to characters I'd like to see. Yosagi Yojimbo, obviously, um, might be a problem because he, he's actually owned by a different company. Uh, so maybe that relicense him. But, uh, of course, some of the Rock Soldiers, uh, obviously General Trag, uh, Mona Lisa, which, funnily enough, just came out in the Shredder's Revenge video game. Would love to have her. So, yeah, they're just uh, a number of figures I would love to see again. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.